Hi, I'm Akila Grant, the DIY Power Couple, and in this video, we're going to show you how we installed knobs and pulls when we painted our bathroom cabinets. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Here you'll find DIY inspiration for your next project. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, share with your family and friends, and remember, you can DIY too. Check out a before and after picture of our bathroom cabinets. Yeah, the new knobs and pulls made such a difference. The very first step was to remove the old knobs and then draw where we were going to make the holes for the new pulls. I couldn't get the cabinet template to line up for us, so I had to line it up manually. I ended up using my L-shaped ruler to measure the distance for the second hole. We measured that second hole so many times and when it was time to drill the hole for the pull, we still messed up. Here's a picture of the tool that we used because we forgot to show us drilling the hole. This is why we drill our holes before we do any painting or anything because we can fix it with some plastic wood putty. Once the putty dries and we paint over this, you won't even notice. Once we checked all the holes for the pulls, it was time to sand. Babe, you were sanding like nobody's business. <laughs> Yeah, and while I was sanding the cabinets, we noticed that we needed to remove the end, drawers, and cabinet so that we could paint the frames. This was all a part of a big bathroom makeover, and we were going to have to have room to paint the walls as well. We were doing a lot all at once, so now it was time to clean the cabinets. So now here's your favorite part, we're ready to paint. Yes, I used my little foam roller and poured the paint and this was a find because I saw this oops paint in the home improvement store. I don't even know what color it was, but when I saw it, I was like, this is perfect. It had brown tones, gray tones. I just thought it would work so well with our bathroom. And what's nice about this oops paint was that it was only $9. I really like the texture of this paint. It was different than the cabinet enamel we used on our kitchen cabinets, but you can check out a link to that video in the description below. We also have a list of products for you to check out. We also used a small brush to paint the frame and to smooth out the paint from the roller. We ended up applying two coats of paint for this project. Now it's time to pull out the flathead screwdriver and install the pulls.
After we were done installing all the hardware in the cabinet, we went back around with a little touch of paint. Now it's time to check the pool to make sure it fits both of our hands comfortably. Yeah, you were hogging it. You wouldn't let my hand get there, and then you wouldn't keep your hand off mine. Well, we're playing handsies. <laughs> Our new knobs came with two screws, a long one and a shorter one, depending on how thick your drawer face was. For ours, we only needed to use the smaller screw. Cabinet knobs are fairly easy to install because there's only one screw. We're all set and now it's time to test out the knobs again. Now it's my turn to test out the knob. Hey, your hand's on mine. <laughs> Sorry. This bathroom makeover turned out well. We really liked the design of the new poles and knobs and how it came together with our total bathroom makeover. The Oops color turned out to be a great surprise. If you'd like to see more videos like these, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.